It's your time to feel and look great. WBSM with AccuWeather. Rain heavy at times this morning, followed by just a couple of showers this afternoon. We do have a wind advisory in effect until about 1. Look for a high today of 48. It'll be mostly cloudy tonight. Chance of a late shower, the uh, low 42. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy. Chance of rain showers in the morning. Snow showers later in the day as the temperature will hit 48 early then drop down into the 30s with, uh, again, wind gusts 40 to 50 miles an hour. It is 40 degrees right now here at WBSM. Derek DaCosta is in the studio with us. He's a personal trainer from Mattapoisett, and we welcome him as it's a new year. Everybody's thinking about maybe a new look and such. Derek, good morning. Good morning. Good to have you with us, and I, I understand you've got a history with this guy here, huh? I have. Uh, we've actually done a little training together in the past, and I hope Look at how fat future. he's got. Don't stop. Uh, no, no, you no, mean no. fit, right? <laughs> Look at that. That's that's right. Definitely, you know, definitely, and like I was talking about this earlier, I said I may not, you know, we still don't train together, but I still, some of the things that you taught me when we were training together, I use whenever I exercise. Absolutely, and that's the idea, is to get tips that you can use for the rest of your life. Okay. Now, recently you were on Fox 25. I was. I did a segment on uh, something called Become Your Own Gym, which is a system that I've developed to help educate people on how to train in their homes or in their office or when they travel or even in the gym itself. And the idea is to not uh, utilize or focus on necessarily props, but yourself and utilizing the environment around you to get the training that you need. Meaning? Meaning that you can get a stretch using a chair, a stairway, a doorway, and utilize those things as visual icons to remind you to stretch or exercise as opposed to a treadmill or, or a set of weights necessary. Not that that's bad for you, but I think that if people utilize visual anchors such as stairs, uh, chairs, or doorways, um, that's going to be more repetition to condition that program into their mind so that it becomes unconscious behavior, it becomes a part of their pattern. Now, how did you get started? Were, were, you, always, uh, were you always active and physical? I was I actually, I got started as a, as a young kid uh, as a means to get some certainty in my life. Uh, it, was a, it was a challenging part of my life where uh, there was a lot of uncertainty, to say the least. And exercise was my escapism. It was a way to get certainty and make me feel confident uh, to move forward with a purpose in my life. And it really has changed my life as a result. Hmm. Excellent. And, and so you just get into fitness. Did you go to a gym or what, what did you do? Well, initially when I started with fitness, uh, I think I, I started in a, <laughs> as everybody does, probably in a school sports. And I didn't do very well. In fact, I failed miserably. I tried off with the soccer team, didn't do very well. And that kind of motivated me uh, with that failure to step up and do something about it. And so I, I started incrementally develop my uh, physicality along with the, uh, the mental muscle, which is the most important thing, the confidence. And it was a slow step-by-step -step process, which is what I recommend for all my students, not to do it overnight, but a long period of time so that it becomes a, a part of your core identity. Um, and I believe that if people believe it to be who they are as an identity, they will never stop doing it as opposed to a short-term, one-month, three-month thing. I was going to say, with New Year's resolutions, we, we read yesterday that, that most of them are already starting to fail. They and, do, and typically the reason why they fail, I believe, is because people set unrealistic expectations, as in, I'm going to lose 30 pounds in 30 days, or I'm going to um, get back the fitness that I had in my high school or college years, and that's, kinda, that's not realistic. So what I, what I suggest to people is start slow, start small, with something that you can accomplish uh, by doing uh, the minimal thing to begin with, and then add small incremental improvements throughout the months and throughout the years. Well, that makes sense. If you're a couch potato, just getting up and doing any Thing is of start. Absolutely, but you have to attach enjoyment and pleasure to that. You can't right. just do um, an activity after you've had an argument with your spouse. Right. The worst thing you can do is that. Okay. So you want to anchor positive things to exercise by making sure you surround yourself th with things, visualization or music, um, that's going to make you feel good during the moment because emotion is what creates motion for us, which is going to inspire you to actually perspire. So it's really important to make sure you feel good before you start. I like that. You also sent us a uh, five tips for success in fitness is probably just a great way to start. These are some easy tips that anybody can utilize, and the first one is drinking water. Yeah, I don't know if you heard us earlier. I, I'm like 200, 205, right. I fluctuate. So I looked at this and I said, I need to drink 200 ounces of water. <laughs> That's, no, not 200 ounces. I would say the average is, uh, I recommend, is about a half an ounce per pound of body weight to begin with, um, which still may be a lot. So I would say if you drank a bottle of water a day, maybe start, you know, add two bottles the next day and then three and then eventually work up to that number. But the more hydrated you are, the better your body's going to function, the better your immune, your immune system's going to improve, the more likely you're not going to get sick, the faster you're going to recuperate, the better your brain works. Everything works better with hydration. And in fact, most dysfunction with your immune system is somehow correlated with dehydration or 
lack of nutrition, one of those two things. And, and, you know, I find that interesting because we just talked about, you know, later on uh, this hour, we have an interview with somebody who's talking about, you know, people that don't get sick. Yeah. And, and I had mentioned that I don't get sick that often and I drink a lot of water. That's a key and, component. And, and, and that's one, one of the things I think is part of the reason. Yeah, Absolutely. Everything. What else is on your list? Well, the second part is the, what I mentioned, the nutrition is eating greens. Uh, what I mean by that is eating foods that are denser in nutrition, uh, what's called phytonutrients. So ideally you want to eat live foods as in vegetables and fruit uh, before you get packaged foods because they tend to have more nutrients, vitamins and minerals and enzymes that your body actually needs to boost your cells to improve your, your immune function or, or functionality in athletics. Now, you also mentioned uh, how we should start simple, and uh, one new change per day? One new change per day. Uh, I have a rule that I use uh, off a word. Uh, it's a Japanese word called kaizen, which means incremental small improvements. You can't change the world in one day, and you can't change your body one day. It took many years, if not decades, to get to where you are. So I say do 1% more than you did yesterday, and every single day just do 1% more. That's highly manageable, and anybody can do that and by chunking it down to a small percent. And so, um, as Neil said, if you haven't done anything for a long time, start with a walk with your dog or with a friend that you enjoy or listen to music that you like. The worst thing that you can do, which is tip number four, is um, develop a poor team. And what I mean by developing a team is making sure that you're surrounded by people, places, or things. Typically, I like to use medias, books, videos, or audio tapes, mm -hmm. um, because they give you consistent positive reactions as opposed to people are not so consistent. But if you choose to have people around you, make sure those people are inspired and already do doing the things that you want to be doing in fitness as opposed to recruit the guy down the street that's unmotivated, that hasn't worked out, and you've got to drag that guy out of bed to go exercise with you. I hate walking. It's cold. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Don't that get a ball and chain. Yeah. Make sure that yeah. you get wind in your sail of success by having somebody that's already got what you want pulling you up to, to their level. Now, I like to walk because of knee issues and things like that. I, my, I, I do the low impact. So I should try to every day make it a little longer? I think more important than making it longer is make it more enjoyable. Make it sure that it's pleasurable. Okay. So perhaps, you know, uh, you make sure that you have the favorite uh, songs on your iPod or you're thinking about your next vacation with your family um, or you get that friend that you really enjoy having conversations with and have him or her with you. So don't dwell on, like, work or any of the negative things while I'm make having it pleasure. me time. I mean, life is all about pleasure and pain, getting more pleasure and avoiding pain. So people typically work the wrong way and start thinking about working out as painful. It's work. Mm -hmm. Well, if you think of it that way as opposed to an escapism, a, a way to get certainty, a way to get pleasure in your life, um, then chances are you're not going to do it for very long. So make sure you have fun when you do it. Now, what is KickFit? Yeah, you're involved with KickFit. I have not heard of this. Uh, it's a, it's a, a division of uh, well, my company that I have. And KickFit basically is, is a total body workout that I've developed where I combine a little bit of the cardio kickboxing, the boot camp, the body sculpting, the yoga, a little bit of everything and the best parts of each to make it a complete class so that men and women and uh, their families can also take part of that and enjoy the process. Now, you hold KickFit classes where? Um, I have kick classes in Mattapoise at the Knights of Columbus at nights at 6 p.m. and at Kaleidoscope of Dance and Gymnastics at 9.30 a.m. on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. Uh, the schedule is posted on my website, uh, which is becomeyourowngym.com. People can check out the classes. Anybody that listens to the show and attends a class will get their first class free. And nice. also, anybody that listens to the show and logs onto my website can per uh, download my ebook, which is called Become Your Own Gym, along with uh, free videos uh, on the download purchase section by entering WBSM into the code. Wow, so you've got the book. I want to check that out. The book is also, I wrote the book four years ago as a way to uh, inspire a friend of mine who uh, was paralyzed through an accident and became a quadriplegic. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to uh, write a book to inspire him. He was my best friend. And so I developed a strategy um, to help people develop their minds so that they can, again, use their environment as opposed to a situation that uh, perhaps they have to drive to or make time for. Because one of the main uh, complaints or excuses that I hear all the time is lack of time and lack I of money. Time. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Which is true. With, yeah. with this schedule and this economy, it's absolutely true. So this is why I developed a system where anywhere, anytime, you can become your own gym. So the website again is becomeyourowngym.com. And we can get the book there? The book is free for I'm, all the listeners. Because I'm serious. I want, I want to check yeah. out the oh, book. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Yeah. The, book is, the book is a very short book, but it's a, it's a great way to get a kickstart your, your fitness routine. Because I think it's neat how you said, you know, if, if using a, do a door frame or, or a chair or a, or a set of stairs, you know, and then when you see that, it reminds you that you can exercise or, or stretch or That's whatever. right. For example, whenever you see a red octagon sign, most people do what? Stop. Stop. 
Right? Some people don't, but most people do, right? <laughs> we do a rolling so, stop, usually. Rolling. So, and yeah. that's universal throughout the world. So therefore, if we can start to anchor and visualize things with common items, then we can start setting different behavioral patterns as opposed to uh, thinking that you have to set up you know, time in your life or spend lots of money to go to a gym. And it's, again, going to a gym is not a bad thing if you know what you're doing. But I say start with what you can accomplish. Make it manageable by doing it right now where you are with something simple, one thing. All right. You know, and, and somebody once said to us, uh, one of the guys from The Biggest Losers there, um, the, the Kruger, 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 yes, Mark Kruger Mark? came Mark. in and said, okay. look, there are 48 half hours a day. Use yeah. one of those 48 half hours a day yeah. to get as much exercise as you can. There you go. Yes, I, I say start small, you know, 30 yep. seconds, a minute, and then work, work your way up. And I'm not recommending just work out 30 seconds. I'm saying if you've done nothing and you stretch for 30 seconds, that might be the wind that you need to start something else, mm-hmm. give you momentum. Right. Derek, uh, let, come back again. Let, let's visit again when we have some more time. Becomeyourowngym.com. Uh, BecomeYourOwnGym.com, and please uh, come to one of my classes to uh, take a free class. And all the info on the classes is on the website? Absolutely. Okay. That's That's Derek DaCosta from BecomeYourOwnGym.com. Just after 8.30, WBSM News Now. We check in with Jack Peterson. Good morning. We 